Hey guys, Tom here. It has been a while, but happy hour is back. And this time around on happy hour, I thought I'd do something different. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine at work who's actually from another country, and we were talking about the things he eats and drinks, and it, it dawned on me that there is a great drink cocktail culture all around the world. So I decided that this time around on happy hour, we are going to explore drinks from all over the world. Now these could be traditional drinks. These could be drinks just associated with the country. Um, they, they could be authentic drinks from that country. And since it's March, I thought what better place to start than right here in Ireland. Biggest day of March is St. Patrick's Day, especially here in the US. Everybody's Irish. So I thought I'd make a few drinks that are either traditionally Irish or Irish inspired. Now, this first one is called a pot of gold. And how we make a pot of gold and how we're gonna make pretty much all of our drinks today is Irish whiskey. There's all kinds of Irish whiskey around. You can find just about anything your heart desires to your taste, but they're all gonna be great. And this drink is gonna have two ounces of Irish whiskey. And then I am gonna add a couple ounces of pear juice. I didn't have pear juice, but I found pear nectar, which is, I'm gonna say similar. A little bit of ice. And I'll tell you guys a little tip. Did you know that there is, when do you shake and when do you stir a cocktail? When a cocktail is all spirits, you shake it. When a cocktail is spirits and other things like this is, with the pear juice or sometimes you have cream or, or anything like that, that's when you shake it. So that's your tip for the day. So I have the whiskey and the pear juice. They're gonna go into a nice little cocktail glass. And then we are gonna top it off with sparkling wine, champagne, whatever you have. I just happen to have a little split of New York State bubbly. So that goes in there. And then just to garnish it, I am gonna put in a long lemon twist, or at least as long as I can get. And Always, I'm gonna go around the rim of the glass with the colored part, not the white part. Float that right in there. A nice Irish cocktail napkin. And there is number one today, the pot of gold cocktail. The next drink is real simple. It is just a mixture of everything we like about Ireland, and that is called the Celtic Twilight. So again, I'm gonna have, I don't have my pourer, so I'm gonna wing it here, about one third of the Irish. An equal amount of Irish cream. And if you wanted to, you could try to layer these. I really don't care to get involved in all that. And then finally, some hazelnut liqueur. 
put a straw in there. And number two, a nice quick after dinner drink, the Celtic Twilight. And finally, what after dinner would be an Irish celebration without a good Irish coffee? It is going to start with, now, you can make, we've made a lot of simple syrups here at happy hour. And this one, you can make a brown sugar simple syrup, or like I'm doing, I'm simply putting a little bit of brown sugar. That's probably a teaspoon, or, I don't know, make close to a tablespoon. And then I'm just going to put a little hot water in there just to melt it a little bit. Uh, I don't have my muddler, so I'll just take this little spear, break it up a little bit. That's good. The coffee will take care of that in a minute. And then what would Irish coffee be without a stiff pour of Irish whiskey? And then fresh brewed coffee of your choice. And then I'm gonna to top it off with, this is just some cream that I am thickening up a little bit, heavy cream. It's not getting super thick because I didn't whip it. I'm just shaking it in a jar. And I actually put a little of, a little more Baileys in there just to gild the lily a little bit. So I'm just gonna pour that on there. But if you want, you can get the old spray can. And then, not traditional, but this is always the way that I made it when I used to tend bar. Just finally on top of the whipped cream, just the slightest little dribble of cream de menthe right on top. And certainly, I think a cherry is in order. And that is the final stop today on our cocktail tour of Ireland, the Irish coffee. So no matter how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, of course, on St. Patrick's Day, everybody wants to be Irish, whether you're a little bit Irish, Irish for the day, or full, full bred Irish. I hope you try one of these, celebrate Ireland as we start our tour around the world. But if you're gonna try one of these cocktails, make sure you do it responsibly so you can come back each week and have a good time right here. So until I see you next time, remember, take care of yourself and your home. Slancha.